Guys and welcome back to Phonics Day Two. I had someone join me today. That's Daisy. Um, we are going to do our next four vocabulary words. I'm going to ask that you pause and talk with your family um, after each word, and then you'll come back and do the four square activity again. So our first word is example. An example is a thing to show what other similar things are like. For example, the Apple is a good example of a healthy fruit. So I want you to talk with your family and I want you to name examples of healthy vegetables. I also want you to talk with your family. You could even write this list down. What are some healthy activities and why are those good examples of healthy activities? Next word is imitate. If you imitate a person or an animal, you try to be like that person or animal. This robot can imitate the way Cody moves. What does it mean to imitate something? With a family member, I want you to take turns imitating an animal, but don't tell your family member what animal you are imitating. See if they can guess. Play that game for a little bit and then pause, pause and then come back. Next word is model. If something is a model, it is a small copy of something. Kevin and I, these two boys, play with a model airplane in the park. Do you see? Oh, Daisy's leaving. The model airplane. It's not the real size of an airplane. It's a model size. Pause with your family and write a short story about these boys playing with their model airplane. See if you can include dialogue in your story. Love to hear it. Add it in the comments below. Next one is effective. Something that is effective works well. The broom is an effective tool for sweeping up leaves and dirt. What would be an effective tool for cutting paper? With your partner, I want you to discuss effective tools that you might use in our classroom during a math lesson. Okay, so our four, word, four words were example, imitate, model, and effective. So again, you're gonna get some paper and you're going to go back through the video and record the word, what the word means, examples that match your word, non-examples of things that don't match your word. Then I'm going to have you write your word in a sentence and draw a picture to match that sentence for each word. Um, look back at the Google Doc for activities about to use words. Let me say that again. Activities that will help you practice these words for Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday. I miss you guys so much. Um, leave a comment below and let me know how vocabulary is going this week. Bye.